Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the Life Berserker uh, Righteous Fire character that I showed in the previous video. Now this character is currently level 77 at the moment with 7.4k life to go. Uh, we are running RF just fine. We're expected to get probably around 10 to 11k um, HP with, I would say, like above average gear. You know, that's including a Calm's Heart and whatnot. Uh, potentially including Blood Magic. So uh, the tree should look pretty similar. It just kind of fills in from what we had before. We don't have our Uber Lab completed yet, but just to run down really quickly, I started off Marauder, went through, grabbed my Heart of the Warrior, came down, uh, grabbed my Golem's Blood, Bravery, and everything around here. By this point, I was already running RF at around level. 21 I think it was uh, my jewels are just standard they've got uh, increased damage and life on them nothing really too crazy they're all pretty much the same I've got majority of my scion life wheel filled out um, I also have to pick up rate of ruin which is cool because it counteracts aspect of carnage by quite a bit because aspect of carnage is 10% increased damage taken and Rite of Ruin is 6% reduced damage taken if you've killed recently. So basically, while you're mapping, you'll have both of these. Well, you'll have Rite of Ruin on, except for the boss. It's also 25% increased attack speed, which is great for essentially running back through maps, picking up the loot, uh, or just kiting a boss. I then... I don't remember exactly which way I went. I believe I touched Shaper, and then I moved in and grabbed Combat Stamina. And then from there, it doesn't really matter where you go. You just fill in life wherever you want. If you want to go damage, go towards Witch, so you can get Elemental Equilibrium, um, and pretty much vice versa, everything else. But like I said, I have quite a few life notes to pick up still. We've got a 6% life note here, two 4% life notes up here. I've got two 5% life nodes here. I also have a 4% life node here, and four more life nodes down here. So we may not even ever get to Blood Magic, so I don't really know. Because there's no point in picking up Blood Magic if I have all my, like if I still have life nodes to allocate in my opinion, because there's no point in just wasting it. So in terms of auras, we're still running the same thing. I could squeeze in an Arctic Armor, but that's for another time. So let's just go over a quick gear setup, uh, and then I'm going to go map. So my gloves are uh, the gloves we're using. I don't know if I showed them in the video. It's a Delirium Crafted Glove. We've got Burn Damage, Ink AoE, Ele Focus, Righteous Fire, Swap and Conk for bosses. Belt of the Deceiver increases the damage targets take. Combs Roots, you can see they give me like 600 life. They also make me immune to stun. They also give me uh, immunity to essentially chill and freeze and temporal chains. Insane Boots. Ring, nothing too special, just life. This ring is a pyre right now. Ideally, it should be a life ring, but um, yeah, I don't really have a ring that I can replace with it yet because I just haven't found like a good ring. Combs Heart, if I take it off, we're 5.7. If you take off Combs Heart and Combs Roots, you're 5.2k. You're basically a shadow. Now you're a Marauder with 7.4k. Marble Amulet, I did use a Shaper Seed, but Marble Amulet's really good because you can craft on it and whatnot. The reason why we have uh, Lightning Damage to attacks is because it applies for our Shield Charge. Uh, and that little bit of lightning damage helps apply our elemental equilibrium when we punch him in the face. Rise of the Phoenix, uh, pretty much best in slot shield. You could replace it with something else. I don't really know what you want to replace with it, but Rise of the Phoenix, very good. Uh, helmet, there is another helmet you can use. It's the 100 life regen per second, 12% max life. Uh, if you're not wearing any corrupted items, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's pretty decent. And my weapon is just a Bright Beak. You can use a Bright Beak. You could use a Dune Kubiari, which is probably my preferred choice. You can use a Crafted Scepter for, like, ridiculous stats. You could use a Doriani's Catalyst. There are tons of different things you could use. Using Enduring Cry, Vitality, and Purity of Fire on my Bright Beak. And in my helmet, we've got Increased Critical Strikes, Faster Attacks, Shield Charge, and Fortify. And in my uh, Shield, we've got Vol Lightning Chop, Rallying Cry, and Conk Effect. And then a conch effect is swapped with ink AoE. So let's go ahead and jump into a tier 8 map. Nothing too crazy. Um, doesn't really have anything special on it. I just want to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of this action. Vol's Vision, I believe that's what it is. Thank you, man. So our flask setup, uh, we've got a Witchfire Brew, which gives us our vulnerability. We also have a Ruby with Remove Bleed, a Remove Shock Quicksilver, a Remove Curse Basalt, and just a regular sulfur flask, just because sulfur gives us regeneration. We still have a little bit of damage to get, actually quite a bit of damage to get through jewels and just base life whatnot. 
life adds a insane amount of damage to our build as that's like our primary source of damage. What's up, Meep? Much appreciated with the resub, man. Oh, thank you, Bayer. Look at that for the explanation. The reason why we have increased critical strikes in our shield charge is because it, al it allows us to proc Elemental Overload. Elemental Overload gives us 40% more damage uh, if you have crit recently. However, it removes your critical strike multiplier. It's pretty much used in every non-crit build. And you really only need it on mobs that survive, so it doesn't really matter if it's not up for white mobs, they're gonna die instantly anyway, right? So I'm just gonna show you guys without conk effect how it is. Um, this is with no vol lightning trap and no conk effect. So roughly pretty much double that damage and that's what it would look like. The only reason why I decided to not throw the buffs on is because it's basically like if I were to remove my Combs Heart and Combs Root, it's like quite a bit of damage loss. And I'll remove that actually here in a second for you guys just to show you what it looks like. Okay, so for the sake of the next part of this, because of the fact that I'm in pretty good gear, for, especially for my level, I want to show you guys a more realistic setup at how this would be mapping. So I'm just going to take off my Combs Heart and my Combs Roots, and we're going to continue this map like this. One other thing is, I decided to drop my HP flasks, and the reason why I decided to drop my HP flasks is simply because uh, I didn't really feel it was necessary with my War Cry healing me for 25% of my maximum life plus the amount that Enduring Cry heals you for. I thought that that was enough for me to sustain personally, and uh, I don't have any deaths on this character yet, even though I've played pretty YOLO, so that's pretty nice to see. I think that the 10% increased damage that Berserker takes does get outweighed pretty heavily once you start getting like exponential life scaling. That's pretty much the map. So future goals for this character, uh, as of right now, maybe get better gloves because these are pretty low life compared to what they could be, but that's pretty ridiculous trying to imagine to essence craft like super good gloves. Maybe get a perfect belt of the deceiver, more life on my combs roots, maybe get like a movement speed vol or something. Uh, this ring could have quite a bit more life with a T1 strength suffix. Fire gets replaced for a good ring, uh, marble amulet, this could definitely be rolled better, maybe essence crafted with like a fire damage essence. Potentially replace my helmet with a Vol's Vision and or get a helmet with like Chaos Resist. I don't think that I can really do much with Rise of the Phoenix, so that's staying there until I figure something else out. And we'll see if we get enough attack speed to replace Bright Beak for later. Anyway, that's pretty much the video. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you guys are curious, I did help Oak for my uh, two point bandit reward. Well, not really two points, it's help Oak or basically kill them all and get two points. Uh, that's pretty much all you would choose for this. And if you do not have a Witchfire Brew, you can just do what I did, and you can simply just run Blasphemy Flammability instead of Place of Vitality, because if you look at my character, you don't need Vitality whatsoever. It's, it's totally fine. Hope you guys liked the video, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Um, yeah, fuck, I forgot my outro, so that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.